Let's understand a little more about the dividends declared by the subsidiary company. Right? And I'm talking about subsidiary only. Parent is, it's simple because you know, it's just as normal as the normal dividend declared by any company. When a subsidiary company declares dividend, it can declare two kinds of dividend. One is the final and the other one is the interim. Right? So let's say for example, we are dealing with a case of 2011-2012. And somewhere here you are given in the question that a final dividend was declared by the subsidiary. Then basically the assumption is that this final dividend is paid for the previous year, which means year preceding this year 2011-12, which is 2010-11, right? And therefore is normally calculated on the closing capital of the last year, which is something on 31-3. 2011 right depending on your date of acquisition this will be a capital or a revenue profits okay the adjustment may be made in either of them you must be wondering how it can be revenue but when we'll see the questions on this aspect you will get a more clarity right in cases where there are more than two or three years then this could be revenues as well the second one is Paid for the current year up to the date of payment. If you are declaring an interim dividend, let's say you declare on 36, 2011, right? On 36, 2011, you declare an interim dividend. This means that this dividend is declared for these three months, right? And the share capital on the date of this distribution, which is 36, 2011, is to be considered for the purpose of computing interim dividend right how this works we'll see in subsequent questions i'll be doing detailed questions on this aspect as well and there i will explain this concept to you in more detail but just understand that the subsidiary can declare two types of dividend final interim final is normally in respect of the previous year interim for the current year up to the date of payment the share capital to be considered for final is the closing capital of the last year for the current year is on the date of distribution, right? The assumptions that we make as we prepare these CFSA is that unless specifically stated, dividend has not been declared by its limited in the previous year or the subsidiary company. We'll not make an assumption just because, you know, there are share capital that some dividend has been declared, right?